are you looking for the best inverter welder? Here we will break down the top 5 inverter welder on the market. We have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. At number 1, Hobart Handler 140 MIG Welder. The Hobart Handler 140 is a bit of a hybrid between pro-level performance and homeowner convenience. The 140 amp rating is enough to weld up to 1 by 4 inch steel. This machine works both as a flux core welder and as a MIG. The duty cycle is 20% at 90 amps. That's enough power to do most jobs you'll ever tackle in a home shop setting, but for professionals working on heavy stuff like trailer frames or pipe fencing, it's just not going to be enough. For other professional work like auto body or welding brackets, mountings and the like, this machine can run off a 4000 watt generator. It's small enough to carry into a home for HVAC repair and the 110 by 115 by 120 input means you could use a small generator or the household receptacle to do the work. The solid aluminum wire drive accommodates either 4 or 8 inch spools and it's selectable between multiple gauges of wire. At number 2. Lincoln Electric K21851 Handy MIG Welder. This Lincoln Electric is a great little welder for auto body panels. It can be used with argon gas mix or gasless flux cord wire. This welder runs at a low voltage of 115 volts and produces exceptionally good results. It has a low output amperage of 88 amperes and is considered very suitable for professional welds. Each setting allows you to weld a different thickness of metal. It has a surprising duty cycle of 20% at 70 amps. Lincoln's electric MIG welder is super light and weighs only 26 pounds. Lincoln's Electric K21851 has the capability to be used as a MIG welder and for flux cord welding. The voltage settings allow you to weld material up to different thicknesses. With Lincoln's welding appliances, not only does the operator feel safe, but the machine too. The cold contractor thermal overload features do not let the wires heat up. It keeps them cool, which also aids in increasing the working life of the appliance. At Number 3. Ready Welder 2 Model 10000 PCS. Ready welders come in their carrying case that is 18 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and 8 inches deep with an overall weight of about 18 pounds. The Ready Welder comes in several different models, but the Model 10000 PCS Ready Welder 2 provides the most features. These include the AC to DC power converter as well as the cold switch option. The AC-DC power supply allows you to run it as a spool gun on a constant current welding machine like a stick welder, which is something its main competitor, the GoWeld, cannot do. It also can run on continuous voltage MIG machines without the use of an AC-DC power supply. The Ready Welder yields anywhere from 45 amps to 350 amps, depending on the batteries used. It can operate with a 12 volt and a 6 volt battery for thinner metals and can last for over 4 hours on lighter projects. A pair of fully charged 12 volt batteries at 175 amps can weld 1 by 2 inch steel or 3 by 4 inch aluminum for at least 45 minutes. For steel up to 3 by 4 inch thick, you can use 3 12 volt batteries for a total of 36 volts input. At number 4, Forney Easy Weld 261 MIG Machine. The welder is easy to use with its infinite voltage and wire feed speed control for efficient weld works. We highly recommend it for light repairs and touch-ups, thereby making it suitable for beginners and intermediaries. The Forney is a versatile unit operating with an input of 120 volts and an output of 140A. It can weld steel metals of 24 gauges and up to 1 by 4 in. The Forney Weld 261 is lightweight and portable, weighing 19 pounds. Therefore, it's suitable for outdoor projects, maintenance, and repair fabrications. At Number 5. GoPlus MIG 130. Among the 110-volt MIG welders, the GoPlus MIG 130 is the smallest at 11.4 inches tall, 13.4 inches long, and 7.3 inches wide. It's also a great bargain at only $119.99. As you might expect, it's not the most powerful with a duty cycle of only 15% at 105 amps. 
If you are looking for a small unit to weld things around the house or do some hobby welding, then check this one out.